This is an instructional video for the Tri-Tech Medical DU or DC series master alarm panel and applies to both the traditional wired and the newer wireless models. This video is intended as an aid for the installing contractor, responsible hospital personnel, and certification companies who are responsible for the installation, maintenance, and testing of medical gas alarm systems. Only authorized personnel should program a hospital alarm. It is important to note that while the master alarm is in the program mode, it is not monitoring the medical gas systems and alarm conditions will not trigger an alarm should one occur. When the master alarm installation and wiring are complete and the source equipment is operational and providing gas pressures in the normal operational pressure ranges, you are ready to program the master alarm signals. Turn the power switch on. If the audible alarm sounds, Press the silence button on the front of the panel to silence the alarm. Locate the Run Program dip switch on the back of the first master circuit board to be programmed. Using a flat blade screwdriver, gently push the dip switch labeled Run Program from the Run position to the Program position on the first master board only and close the alarm front. Only one circuit board may be placed in the program mode at a time. The top signal point LED should be blinking on and off. Also, the LED display at the bottom of the board should be displaying either a C or an O. The C or O is the result of a continuity test of the circuit connected to this alarm signal point. With all of the source equipment operational and providing gas pressures in the normal operational pressure ranges and the circuit being wired correctly, the master alarm should display a C or closed condition for each alarm signal point. When the alarm panel is in the program mode, the arrow buttons take on secondary functions. The up and down arrow buttons are used to toggle between the red or green LED being illuminated. The right arrow button is used to move on to the next alarm signal point. The left arrow button must be used to save the programming option after it has been selected. In our example, the alarm panel is sensing a closed circuit for the first signal point. As source equipment is connected to this signal point, and it is operating in a normal pressure range, we want to save this signal point with the green LED blinking on and off. Press either the up or down arrow button until only the green LED is blinking on and off. Next, press the left arrow button to save the programming of this alarm point. Horizontal dashes will appear on the LED display at the bottom of the board as confirmation of the saved program change. You have now completed the programming of this alarm point. To proceed to the next alarm signal point, press the right arrow button. Each of the subsequent signal points connected to source equipment should be programmed in the same manner. As each signal point is programmed, be sure to press the left arrow button to save each change as it is made. Signal points which are not connected to source equipment may be disabled by pressing either the up or the down arrow button to select the condition where both the green and red LEDs are blinking on and off. The letter D, which denotes disabled, will be displayed on the LED display at the bottom of the board. Next, save this programming by pressing the left arrow button. Any additional unused signal points may be disabled in the same manner. We have designed an additional option for use with source equipment which has been designed to operate normally open. This will not be compliant with NFPA 99, but each alarm point may be programmed to display a normal condition for this equipment. When the signal points for this equipment have been selected using the right arrow button, the letter O will be displayed on the LED display at the bottom of the circuit board. 
Using the up or down arrow button, the blinking green LED may be selected and then saved using the left arrow button. When all of the signal points on the circuit board have been programmed, return the dip switch to the run position and then proceed to the next circuit board in the alarm panel and proceed in the same manner until all of the circuit boards have been programmed.